interacting with their leaders later today. We have been called and we shall appear. We are saying that we are not going to defy the orders of the court. We are disciplining people. Also, Electoral Commission challenges NDC to request an IPAC meeting as it describes as normal challenges with the voters registered that forced John Mahama to suspend his campaign. If there's something there, you don't understand. You can also call the first IPAC meeting and we'll meet. But as well as I want to say that the challenges are there, we appreciate them, but they are part of the exhibition. That's why we do exhibition. And in business, World Bank conducts study on Ghana's cocoa industry to prevent a potential nosedive of the sector, which has given the nation several billions of dollars over the years. We've got more in 15 minutes. And later, St. Peter's SHS contestant to impress national science and math quiz audience with his quotes from the Bible before contest says he is always directed by God on what to say. It is written. Chapter 9, verse 10. And when Jesus has therefore taken the vinegar, he said three words, it is finished. We have more from him later. Well, let's settle now for the details. As the National Labour Commission will this morning begin a compulsory arbitration with leadership of the striking nurses and midwives with the hope of resolving their grievances. This follows a substituted service granted by the High Court compelling the nurses and midwives to come to the negotiation table with their employers. Some hospitals and chips compound in Ashanti and Bono East regions have suspended a number of services at their facilities following the nationwide strike, leaving many patients stranded. Executive Secretary of the NLC, Fusua Samoa, says he expects the nurses and midwives to call off their strike with immediate effect. We expect them to return to work. With immediate effect? Yes. They shouldn't have even put their strike into mm-hmm. But since you know, they are supposed to return to work while the matter is being read. And compulsory arbitration also starts immediately. Is that what it is? That will be tomorrow. That will be tomorrow. But General Secretary of the Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, David Tinkran-Chum, says that will only be done after consultation with their members. And I'm saying that we will report the people because the injunction wasn't set on the people who took the decision. It was set on the leader. So we are going to inform them that this is what has happened. But you know that um, from what you were saying, uh, the lawyers tell us that what you're doing could be in contempt of court. Uh, you could serve a prison term. You know that? What I'm saying is very simple. Whether it's revocation of salary, a prison term, we are saying that we are not going to defy the orders of the court. We are disciplining people, but we have to inform the people about the directive of the court. And Mr. Tinkran, but you, you're going into arbitration tomorrow, though, are you? Of course. We have been called, and we shall appear. General Secretary of the Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, David Trump, Tinkran there. The group has scheduled a meeting with its members later this morning, after which a news conference will follow. Stay tuned to Joy 99.7 FM, the Joy News Channel, Multi TV, MyJoyOnline.com, and all our social media platforms for updates on the situation throughout the day. Well, this is your election headquarters now. Some election-related stories because the Electoral Commission has been laying out new COVID-19 safety protocols for the December 7 elections. The commission says no more than 700 people will be allowed at one polling station on election day. In places where voters exceed this number, voters will be categorized into groups. Deputy Chairperson of the Commission, Dr. Bosman Asari, has been providing details. Here's Nicolas Ekoyama's report to read to you. In less than 75 days... Ghana would be going to the polls to elect a new president. The first time Ghana will be voting in a pandemic. There is bound to be long queues, a phenomenon the Electoral Commission says it wants to avoid. Dr. Bosman Asare is deputy chairperson of the commission. In 2015, the threshold for each polling station was a maximum of 850. In other words, no polling station exceeded 850 in 2016. But because of the pandemic in 2020, this is what the commission is doing. The commission is saying that the maximum, the maximum that will be allowed at each uh, polling station will be 700. In other words, this registration we we undertook, any registration center that has more than 700 people, we are going to split them into A and B. Deputy Chairperson of the EC, Dr. Eric Bosman Asari, speaking at a Star Ghana Election 2020 Grand Partners Learning Event. We stay a bit longer on Electoral Commission because it is challenging the NDC to request an IPAC meeting to discuss concerns which has resulted in the suspension of campaign by its flag bearer. In response to the party, the EC says the issues raised by the NDC are normal. It says 
um, it's been compelled to issue a new voter ID card after it emerged that some prospective voters had been issued with cards with duplicate code. Uh, former President John Mahama suspended his campaign yesterday due to the issues, but Director of Elections at the Electoral Commission, Dr. Srebo Kwaku, says the concerns are not as serious as the NDC claims. These are normal challenges for registration. The ID card is important. It, it facilitates the registration. But you can vote without the ID card. If there's something, something that you don't understand, you can also call request for a meeting and we'll meet. Yeah, but what, and what I want to say is that the challenges are there. We appreciate them, but they are part of the exhibition. That's why we do exhibition and we rectify all the uh, errors and those things. But that will be the final result. We'll have a credible one. But the NDC's Director of Elections, Elvis Ifri Ankara, says the challenges are widespread and serious enough to affect the credibility of the polls in December. <laughs> it's a total mess. Look, as I speak to you now, Kowa constituency alone, we have 2,487 duplicate IDs in just eight police stations. It, it's, a, it's chaotic. And you see, you see the whole attitude very blatant, very, very uncaring. This is normal. What is normal about this? We've had several registration exercises. There's never been any such situation where over 100 districts, where in one constituency alone, you have over 21,000, currently 7,000 names missing. Mr. Serbo Kwaku is challenging the NDC to call an IPAC meeting to thoroughly discuss the issue. Now, away from that, CEO of the Youth Employment Agency, Justin Kodia, says the authority has been saving more than 32 million Ghana cities annually since 2017 because of the due diligence in eliminating more than 17,000 ghost names on the payroll inherited from the NDC's administration. He alleges that but for a headcount conducted, the authority would have been paying 62,825 staff instead of 45,218. He was speaking at the maiden edition of the Nation Building Update, a platform by government to highlight its success story. As an agency, the first step that we took under the directive from our sector minister, Honorable Ignatius Bafuewa, was to conduct a head count to verify the number of beneficiaries that were handed over to us, that is 62,825, introduce an electronic validation system whereby beneficiaries will be paid based on proof or evidence that they have indeed are at post and are working. Interestingly, when we did the head count and did the validation of beneficiary before payment, the 62,825 beneficiaries that were handed to us reduced to 45,218. Justin Kodia is CEO of the Youth Employment Agency. Mm-hmm. Michael Obey was in his second year at St. Peter's Senior High School when he represented the school at the National Science and Math Quiz. When he was stunned by his ability to quote different verses from the Bible anytime his school had a contest. He's back again this year and says he was always directed by God on what to say before all the contests in 2019. Maxwell Agbaba has more in the following report. A packed auditorium at the University of Ghana Business School. It is written in the scriptures, in the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which shall be to you. But the Egyptians we see today shall see them no more. Indeed, St. Peter's SHS did not see the Egyptians again. Wesley Girls High School and Tepa SHS were kicked out of the competition. St. Peter's SHS moved on to the grand finale of the competition. Another quote from Michael Obing. Are you seeing Egyptians around today? It is written. In the book of John, chapter 19, verse 30. And when Jesus has therefore taken the vinegar, he said three words, It is finished. We get on stage, the spirit takes control. So we just see what the Lord leads us to say. And that's what led to all the scriptures. Yes, yes. Then in every other contest, led by the spirit. A lot of favors have come my way because of the quiz. And I give glory to God for everything. Indeed, we give glory to God for everything. Time now for your Arrival Live tip brought to you by Toyota Ghana Bedrock Insurance and Logistic Movers. Avoid all distractions, keep both eyes on the road and hands on the steering wheel. Be visible. Drive your lights on. That's how you arrive alive.
And that's it for the news at six. In this package, we brought you news on striking nurses being expected to suspend their strike today as the National Labour Commission goes into compulsory arbitration with their leaders. There's more news when you log on to my joy.